Today, we're jumping back into some rank 1v1s, which I haven't touched since I finished my placements this season. We're already currently top 30 in the leaderboards, which makes sense because I was top 15 last season. So I'm sure each game will get pretty intense. We'll just jump into the first three games and I'll do my best to explain my thoughts throughout the gameplay. Win or loss, I'm sure the gameplay will be helpful for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy as we get back into some 1v1s and see just how rusty I am. If you're enjoying the daily uploads and want to help the road to 2 million subscribers, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. But now let's get into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, for the first game, we've got OSM. Oh my goodness. That is uh, quite the first game. It's obviously a very solid player. He's a well-respected uh, freestyler, so should be interesting. Oh, I almost got it. Almost, almost again. End up bumping him. Should be able to stay with this. Oh, I missed. Should be all right. There we go. Should be a snipe, hopefully. There we go. So, a little bit awkward there. I ended up missing the, the clear over my head. I wanted to hit that super high and end up not clipping at all. So, I just used the uh, squishy save as a way of getting back to the ball. Let's stay with this here. Nice little flick above. Stay with this now. Be does here. Should be all right. Let's force him to a clear. And there we go. So it's pretty high ping for him. It's gonna be pretty tough. Um, <laughs> fancy meeting, uh, fancy medium in NA East though. Pretty funny. So far we're just like playing solid uh, offensive pressure. Just trying to make sure we keep the 50-50 safe. Ah, he's gonna have a shot here. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Okay, we're good. That's a good play. I might be. Might be not be able to get back here. I'm gonna hit 50 into this because I, I need boost pads. And there's a pretty good chance he would score that. Pop it towards target. Please keep pressure. Gives me some space to get the boost now. Oh no, please don't. He's gonna musty flick me. Alright, got some space. That's fine. Trying to stay in a safe spot here. I'm trying to stay near the, the ball to keep the boost. Just smart. Should be a hopefully open shot here. Okay, actually, that was a good bump. He, he almost left it open for me, but... I had to make sure I don't give him that space to do a freestyle. Oh, I was going to make a shot that probably wasn't on target, so I'm glad that I backflipped that. Because he probably would have had a free shot chance here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> okay, that was fast. It's fine. Kind of gives me possession here. He ends up getting back to the ball. He might score this though. Oi, oi, oi. He missed. Okay, that's fine. Oh my goodness, we're getting getting away with murder here. Probably super high, hard on the high ping. Take a shot towards the, the bar here. Pop it over him. I knew he was gonna try and challenge immediately. What brings you to NA East? That's a rough ping. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised he. I oh, just practice on high leg. That's that's actually pretty good, good idea. I don't really play on EU anymore. So I just can't. It's just too tough. So uh, honestly, respect to him because I I can't do it. <laughs> I think with Canada though, like it's way way worse. We're gonna do a flick high. Oi oi. Might be open here. There it is. Yeah. So we're just we're not really using like his ping too much to our advantage, but we're just like playing really solid uh, chips into the midfield. At the second, the last second, he doesn't expect. Um, which, yeah, definitely with ping, it'll be hard as well. But not going great. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. It's it's rough. I understand. I could. I, he's doing better than I would. Trust me. Let's go back here and get mid boost. See if he goes for a, an aerial play. All right, good setup. Set a flip reset. Oh, okay, good save. It's a little tough. Let's see if I can go for a, a bit of a flip reset here. Nice little play there. It wasn't too big of a scoop, but it was enough to throw it off the back post. Um, definitely, uh, definitely tough. 104, anything above 100 ping. I'm sure a lot of you guys have dealt with it, and you know exactly what it means. And if you've never experienced below 100 ping, oh my, you're playing an entirely uh, different different game of Rocket League. 
Because I can't do above like uh, 80 most of the time. That's why I don't really play West either. It's a good uh, fake there. Ends up popping up pretty high though. I'll try to block it. Nice try. Not a great 50-50 here. Uh, I have to make sure I boost a little bit late. So that way I can stay near the ball and still have enough boost to recover. Alright. Oh, that's a good flick. Yeah, there's not much I can like, really do there. I have to make sure that I shadow in case he goes for that chip. But that, that flick of the last second, I probably could have sat a little bit further back. But I don't want to give him all the space in the world. That's the only thing, too. It's, it's tough to say um, what what you should do in that situation. Because you have you have too many options to be covering when you're stuck back at that end. So Probably could have played a little more patient and waited to see what he was going to do if he lost like control of the ball or something. But at this level, like at this point in, in ranked 1v1, it's really hard to... Uh, you know, use that to your advantage because most people don't lose control. So <laughs> let's go back here. I gotta be a little bit careful on immediate shot. I fake this. Oh, that's a good shot. Really well played. Um, I tried to go for the fake, like pump fake, into uh, the next challenge, but I didn't point the back of my car in the right direction, so it didn't quite work out. I fake the jump that way. He just backs off. Go for the fake here. Nice little 50-50, and there we go. So he tried to go for the high touch. I just went for the, the fake instead. Um, just keeping keep close possession. I feel like in 1v1 nowadays, people either freestyle like crazy, or they are like really controlled. So I'm trying to do that controlled route. It's a good play, too. I definitely knew he was going to do that. I just didn't react in time, which is my bad. Oh, here he goes. I can't wait to get triple flip reset on. Oh, he didn't get it, I don't think. Let him take it. Oh, close. Well played. I mean, I didn't expect to run into a European freestyler, but uh, we'll take it. First first game of the day. It's not too bad. He played really well for like the high ping. I, I don't understand how people play at that, that ping level. It's just way too difficult. But yeah, it was a good first game. Oh, we got him again. Okay, well, I didn't expect that. I thought he was... Oh my gosh, 100... No way. <laughs> 176 ping. It's even worse, man. That's so rough. I was gonna I was gonna say right before we jump into this game that uh, if you want to check out uh, his stream, uh, his YouTube, he's got a YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> even worse, ping. Oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> How is that possible? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's probably US Central. But hey, if you want to check out his channel, be sure to check it out in uh, in the description. Um, it's, uh, I think he's just Pulse OSM. Uh, he does 1v1 stuff. He's done a few other challenges as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth checking out. And he's, uh, part of the, uh, the squad with Mercy and Linkru. Oh, good fake. This could be good for him here. I feel to get back. Good try. It was hard for him to turn on that super fast. I think I missed. Am I the one on high ping? Okay, no, I, I didn't. I didn't miss. Nearly though. What an interesting uh, set of games here. You know, I haven't played one v one in a while, and for me to jump into the games and find OSM twice in a row, avoid the demo here and take the boost if I can. Now I know he's low. Stay with it here. He's pretty low, so I know he's probably gonna leave. There you go. He's still pretty low. Fine. I'm trying to watch the bump here. Smart of him to go for that. It's too high. Make sure to jump though, because if I don't, he might pop it into a, a bad spot. There we go. Watch the demo as well. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Pop it towards goal. Let's make him have to clear it. There we go. I'm trying to fake him, shadow it a little bit. Fine. Both of us are trying to. This is. This may look funny, but we're both trying to like bait in the other player to make a, a bad touch. I'm gonna die here and probably get scored on. Definitely. Yeah, I'm scored on. Um, we're both trying to bait each other into a bad challenge. So what I should have done there is just backed off and let him touch the ball, uh, or give him free possession because there's no position where I'm really in a, that good of a spot. He keeps doing these fake kickoffs because I think he's like worried about how his challenges will be at, at uh high ping, which makes sense. So he does with this. I don't think he's got really like any angle where he can score this unless he catches it. That's a good play. Really good catch off the uh, off the backboard. I should have probably been ready for him to pop it around me like that. 
or went for the immediate challenge, but it's pretty scary because he could have had his flip. And, uh, oh, this could work out for him. Yeah, it's, oh, I got the boost. Okay, we're good. Watch out for the bumps again. Try to make sure I don't uh, get bumps. Could be a demo here. And if I shoot this immediately, it could be in. If it's far enough, he's probably going to get there, though. Oh, we just, we just got it in. So that, that demo was really good uh, to clear up the space. And I knew if I immediately shot it, there was a chance that it, he might not be able, to be able to make it back. But honestly, if he spawned left side, it would have been a, it would have been a, a goal for him. Or a, a save for him. So that's just how ridiculous it is. It's a good save. Can't really land properly, though. Should be okay. Ooh, I'm not going to be able to get the possession, though. Because I have to clear it to the side really hard like that. Stay with this instead of throwing the ball away. It's a good challenge. Should be able to get back though. Good play off the backboard. I, I was expecting him to uh, immediately shoot that. I mean, he knows that too. So that's why he went off the backboard. But then the second I saw him hit it backboard, I tried to go for the pre-jump read. But it was well played from him to uh, to go for the double. Make a nice little pop. Make him jump for it. He ended up missing, so now it's a little bit awkward for him. That should have just uh, worked out just enough, yeah. So he thought I was going to just pop it once. I tried to follow it up with a little bit of boost to get a second pop. And that's going to be really hard to react to um, at the last second when he's jumping. So I just popped it twice. It was over his head and we can get a free possession. I right, see I see that he's trying to go for these uh, um, like fake kickoffs. I'm not sure what's happening here though. <laughs> I should have got back off. I have no boost. Very careful with the immediate flick. That's a good flick to hit the crossbar. No, it doesn't. I wish to hit the post uh, off that challenge. I was trying to force him into a, a bad flick. Going to immediately throw this away. That's fine. Let's go for the bump play here. Should work out. There we go. So I went for the uh, the high touch into a crossbar down. Uh, in, th in that situation, I have to make sure I bump him or else that's just going to be a bounce out, uh, you know, to him. Be a little bit careful. I got to save my boost here too. Make sure I pop it really hard. He might leave this or boom it. Since he booms it, I'd be, be sure to get back as fast as possible. There we go. Good fake. Stays with the ball here. Oh, I tried to go down. I knew he was going to go low. I just tried to go. I tried to fake it just enough that I can go back down, but I jumped too high. Well played by him, though. I got to make sure I stay pretty tight on this. Might be a shot here, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's a good shot. So apparently, he plays better on higher ping. You know, you know what I'm saying? He's 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 playing better on this round than the last one. I don't think we can get two goals here. I doubt it. Yeah, he's playing the fake kickoff. I think it's because he's not he's not sure how he's gonna how it's gonna react. Might be another goal here though. Well played. Yeah, I'm gonna forfeit this one because we don't we only have 11 seconds left. Pretty good game though. We'll jump into the last one. All right, for the last game, we got Plum. Who's uh, established 2017, so pretty uh, pretty old player. I don't think I've actually played this guy before. I hit that curve so it bounces out. Gotta be careful because he's gonna grab that corner. I think he got the corner for me too. Nice. Probably gonna beat me here because of the boost that he has. There we go, just force him in. Make him waste his boost, make him back off. There we go. Pop it over the net, see what he does. The decent clear, and I get the possession again. I got pop to the left side, and there we go. So I, what I do there is I just force the backboard touch. He has to try and catch it, which in turn makes him waste his boost. And because he couldn't catch it, it pops back out to midfield for me. And then I can get another possession and make sure he doesn't challenge. And there we go. So a little bit of a warm up with uh, with OSM earlier should give us some pretty solid uh, offense here. Make sure we stay close to the ball. Make him waste. Make him waste his boost. It's a good shot. I should have just challenged him. Honestly, he was really low boost. I just didn't want him to do a backflip over my head while he was uh, able to recover. So smart of him to let the ball roll out to him. There we go. It's behind him. Make him waste his boost. There we go. Could be a top right corner. There we go. I don't know why he did that fake kickoff. It doesn't usually work out at this level um, to do that because you just waste the possession. 
So I just pressured him off that, and we got a pretty substantially good uh, play there off the <laughs> off the top corner. Wait till he comes near me, and then I'll pop it away. Do the same thing he was doing. I'm just collecting pads as we do this. He's also collecting pads, so I gotta be aware of that. He might have went too far to towards me, to the point where I can just flick it top left. Uh, you get that front back end of the car really strong towards the, uh, the flick at the end there. There we go. Get the boost. Get a little bit of a fake kickoff. Fake him out. He's gonna probably pop this around. Yep. I knew he was gonna just challenge that. He's playing pretty aggressive. If he puts it to the back corner, I can grab this mid boost and just wait for his touch. Let's see what he does. So he decided to throw the ball away. I ended up not catching that. I should have just scored. I could probably still score though, because he's way out of the game. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so he went way out of the game with that touch. I don't think he meant to pop it down like that. I think he meant to uh to keep the ball close and then get a flip or something, but he just threw it towards the ground. We go, good 50-50. Could be an open goal here as well. He tried to fake me, and then th once you know, once I know that his flip is gone, I can just jump at the ball. He popped the ball way too high, so we get a free, pretty, ch pretty free challenge there. I see he's going pretty slow to his kickoff too, so I'm gonna slow it down a little bit too, and just get a solid 50-50. Let him just touch the ball away. Woo! Almost own gold. I go for an immediate shot. You might not expect me to challenge this one. Try to go for the tight angles. It's not really not really worth it, but with four goal lead, thought it might be possible. There we go. Should be a pretty clean win there. Lots of times. So I'm gonna catch the ball and then pop immediately. See if he goes for the challenge. So we landed backwards, which means I can pop it around him. Maybe bump him a little bit and get the finish. There we go. Pretty solid. He didn't make the, the greatest touch in the corner here. So I was able to just chip it around him and try to force him into a, a panic touch, which is exactly what happened. And uh, we'll take the lead. Good play. I'll grab this mid boost since he's grabbing the corner. And since he's, he's going to be behind the ball, so I know that I can go uh, ahead of that and then get the get the boost first. Pop it over. See what happens. Pop it towards net again. It might be in. There's the Brazil. Nice play. So uh, yeah, OSM really uh, really warmed me up for the last game here. <laughs> it was a solid games. Even though I didn't win the second one, it's all good. I honestly don't play 1v1 enough to... Uh, get super super consistent and he's a really solid 1v1 player obviously so there we go he ended up backing off because he was scared clears it to me pretty low boost he missed that's gonna be another open goal here trying to play a little bit faster than he needs to so he's panicking a lot and that, en that ends up happening 1v1 a lot because you think that someone might just go immediately I'm, I'm tend I tend to be pretty patient uh, and play like my best odds He's going to probably beat me here, so I'm going to grab this pad instead. Um, but yeah, I usually like to play my odds pretty well instead of just risking everything, so I don't go for every challenge. I like to mix it in once in a while because I know that it makes sense, and it's kind of what you have to do. Like, sort of like this. <laughs> but uh, I don't like to go for everything like that. I don't like to barrel in a lot, so... As I say that, I'm doing it again. It's okay, though. Pop it over him. Good save. There we go. Ouch, I'm dead. <laughs> but hey, we're, we're, I feel pretty good about that last game. And, over, and overall, pretty much any game, really, uh, of this of this episode. I know I don't really do 1v1s too much, but I know you guys do like them sometimes, so that's why we're, that's why we're doing them. Oh, there we go. So that's the final win there. Um, pretty good game, honestly. I don't think Plum like was playing patient enough. He was kind of like rushing everything, and I just took advantage of it. So overall, we're a net positive in MMR. It's pretty, pretty good numbers actually. Plus ten. Uh, at this, at the, I'm pretty sure I'm like top thirty or something, or at least I, I reached, I think I reached SSL and then I just stopped playing one v ones and that's where we ended up at. So, uh, let's see where we're at now. Yeah, so we're in the top twenty five, which isn't bad. I mean, yeah, we're actually, we're actually at top, exactly top twenty five. I thought the MMR didn't update yet, but we did, and uh, yeah, honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I could go for like up here in the top ten, but as you can see, like just to get top two is like another hundred MMR. <laughs> <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know I don't do ones too much, but I'll try to do more often. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.